Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch, the Steam Deck, AI, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline, and Skyline's got a couple of brand new updates. If you head to skyline one and click on download, at the time of filming, the latest version is 2113. And on top of that, the paid testing early access version of Skyline, Skyline Edge also got a number of updates today. Absolutely huge updates. Edge version 49 here fixes basically every audio issue in every game. And that's thanks to the Yuzu team for allowing them to use their code. Edge version 50 here fixes missing audio entirely on some devices and broken screen recorders. And Edge version 51 improves latency and also fixes The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Someone's got Metroid Dread up and running at pretty close to 60 frames per second on average and looking really good and also having no audio issues. Someone is emulating a Nintendo Switch, emulating a Game Boy Advance and having Metroid Fusion up and running at a solid 60 frames per second and looking great. For you Exynos folks out there, someone has Super Mario 3D World up and running on an Exynos 2200 at a solid 60 60 frames per second. Well, it just went down to 58, so pretty close to 60 frames per second and looking really good. This one was a little unexpected. Here is Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled up and running at a solid 30 frames per second. Here is Skyward Sword up and running and that looks like 30 frames per second and it seems to be rendering very good. And if that's not good enough for you, someone's got Skyward Sword up and running at a solid 60 frames per second. Here's Darksiders up and running at a solid 30 frames per second and dare I say it looking great. Someone has Max Curse of the Brotherhood and Mario Strikers up and running and looking all right. And if you like Dragon, Skyrim and Dragon's Dogma seem to be running a lot better. Skyline Edge changes generally make their way to the mainline build within a couple of weeks, give or take one once they've been tested and are good to go. This is a massive improvement for Skyline, and I can't wait to see what they do next. And speaking about Yuzu helping out Skyline, next up we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu. And Yuzu just got a brand new update. So Mainline 1372 is the latest version at the time of filming, and I said PC, but I could have said Steam Deck. So this update here fixes the pink and green lens flare effect that would appear on various games like Super Mario 3D World on the Steam Deck. And speaking about the Steam Deck, next up we're talking about the Steam Deck. A lot of people, myself included, wouldn't mind seeing an OLED in that Steam Deck. I mean, it would make the screen a heck of a lot better. And Valve has replied and says it's not necessarily as easy as just dropping one in. The entire interview is published over on PC Gamer's website and I'll drop a link to it in the description below and I do recommend checking it out. It might require a redesign of the Steam Deck, but at the same time they haven't ruled it out, so I'm kind of curious to see what way they go here. Let me know your thoughts about seeing an OLED in the Steam Deck in the comments below. And we're not done talking about the Steam Deck just yet. In the latest Proton Experimental, there's a whole bunch of bug fixes and improvements. They fixed a memory leak when playing Fallen Dynasty. And if you play Age of Empires 3 online, there's a fix for multiplayer. There's also a fix for a whole bunch of other games. I'll drop a link to the changelog in the description below. Moving on now, and we're talking about Microsoft and Sony and Activision, and this whole kerfuffle that's been talked about to death and still doesn't want to seem to die. Anyways, in my opinion here, Sony is kind of grasping at straws with their argument. And their argument just got weaker with today's announcement. Microsoft and Ubitus, Ubitus, let me know in the comments below, uh, have signed a 10-year partnership to stream Xbox PC games as well as Activision Blizzard titles. And for those who may be unaware, Ubitus is the leading cloud gaming provider for the Nintendo Switch. So while Sony keeps arguing this deal is bad and ignoring their own exclusive and restrictive practices, I really think this deal is going to be great for gamers in general. I mean, Xbox buying Activision Blizzard might be a big win. Next up, we're talking about RetroHub, a free and open source retro gaming library front end. And RetroHub just got a brand new release. At this point in time, RetroHub is still in early stages of development, but version 0.1.1 beta is the latest update here. We've got a bunch of bug fixes and some brand new features. For example, they added the option to scrape games by hash and or file name. RetroHub is free, it's open source, and I'll drop a link to this GitHub in the description below in the event that you wanted to check it out. And speaking about checking stuff out, next up we're talking about a ROM hack that a lot of Canadians will be excited about checking out, but I'm not sure about everybody else. 
Anyways here, NHL 94 on the Sega Genesis just got a brand new ROM hacking. It updates the game to the 2023 roster after the trade deadline. So this is the latest and greatest version here with the latest and greatest rosters and I'm pretty excited about this one. I don't know about you, but this is one of the games I normally keep on my handheld devices. It's a lot of fun to play in small bursts and even more fun with updated rosters. And last up here, this is more of a PSA than anything, but it appears that AI generated YouTube videos that are spreading malware are on the rise. Between two to 300% month over month, these videos have been increasing on YouTube. It appears there's a ton of channels popping up and channels being hacked to put up malicious videos to entice people to click on the links and download malware. And they are often under the guise of something like an office crack or illustrator crack or game crack. So I will leave a link to this article in the description below and I do recommend checking it out, especially if you're searching YouTube to find questionable videos and you're clicking on links in them. Knowledge is power and this is probably worth knowing. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. I talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below and I do read the comments. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.